So, welcome back to the channel, folks. Here we are inside our brand new, not new, my garage, SN95 workshop facility. Um, we cleared out my garage over the last few weeks. If uh, we haven't done a video in a couple weeks, because the supercharger install was quite an or ordeal. And I've realistically been working on cars nonstop all summer. So we took a break. Um, sort of. Sort of. We took a break to clean my garage out, straighten it up, get my tools all organized, get my workbench set up where I wanted it to, purchase a few tools. And uh, the garage is still a organized clutter, um, but and it's now more organized than it was when we started. So this is where the majority of the magic will happen this winter. Uh, if you remember last winter, we couldn't shoot anything because we didn't have anywhere to shoot anything. Um, There's been some upgrades too. Oh like, uh, yeah, well, the, the lighting that's here in the garage that you see, this beautiful face of mine that you're right, beautiful face of mine that you're because of the lights, we put those in. Um, yeah, like we say all the time in every video, we're not a huge YouTube channel. We don't organization. We're doing this because we think it's fun. And fun. And she thinks I'm funny. <laughs> um, I thought I was funny. Actually. And she's funny too. <laughs> but anyway. See. So it takes us a little longer to get stuff going. But um, this garage is more than big enough to do the next project we want to do. Uh, don't worry. Green Hornet is still in the works where you just have to do some more filming on that. But like we said... We're not a big YouTube channel, so we have to strategically plan fundage for parts we and have to time and stuff like that. Um, so it may take us a little longer to get content out. Um, I feel like if we put at least one to two videos out a month, we're rocking close to my garage, so the mic can pick me up better and there's really less background noise. Um, so that's it. Stay tuned for the reveal of our new project which is going to carry us probably through most of the winter. And it'll be something we work on and, you know, you'll see videos of it. You'll see videos of Green Hornet. You'll see Red Project's uh, Redhead because she's not technically all the way done yet. Um, my cameraman has decided she wants to put a transmission in. So we got to put a transmission in it. The Cobra isn't finished. There's a couple more. There's some upgrades that need to be done to it to make sure it doesn't blow up now that it has a supercharger. And plus I'm pushing it to 10 pounds of boost. So... There are upgrades that will come along with that, so stay tuned for that. But uh, we'll see you in the next clip, and you'll get to see what we're working on. Okay, so we ran into some technical difficulties. Um, we're going to have to do some uh, sound checks, I guess, in the future, because uh, the mic didn't record anything again. So I'm just going to have to do some voice over here. Uh, behind me, the thing that I'm leaning on is our new project car. It's a 1990 GT Mustang my parents bought back in 1996. And uh, it was my mother's car. She drove it most of my teenage years, or all of my teenage years, really, pretty much, and well into my young adulthood. And uh, then my father wrecked it, and it uh, got fixed, and then he actually wrecked it again. And then one day he went out to start it, and it wouldn't start, so he just let it sit. After it was sitting in a garage for a number of years I pleaded with him to let me have the car to start working on it to make sure it didn't deteriorate into nothing and uh, long story short I got the car running within two days it was a fuel pump regulator and uh, had the car back on the road and I drove it for a couple of years it was my primary vehicle for a couple of years and then um, the top on it got really bad and developed a hole and I couldn't really afford to put a top on it at the time so I parked it and put it under a tarp and that's the way it remained for about 15 years um, I drug this car around from house to house and um, here it is finally is in my driveway of my current home and it's set underneath this makeshift tarp for the last eight or nine years and basically what I'll do is I'm gonna put the rest of the video into fast forward because obviously I don't know where the shotgun mic picked up and where it didn't. So I'm going to speed it things up. Just throw some music in there and you guys can watch uh, things develop. Uh, my mother, this was my mother's primary vehicle. 
she did pass away from cancer uh, six years ago, and my dad's been having some real troubles dealing with that. And I think it would just make his day if I could uh, get the car up and running again, get it all fixed up to where it's drivable to put back on the road, and uh, give it back to him. So that's really the plan, is to uh, get her fixed up, get her back to the point where she's drivable, get a top on her, get the floor pans fixed, get the rust fixed, do do some body work, and then uh, give it back to my dad for hopefully his birthday in the next within the next two years, hopefully. So uh, that's the plan for this car. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy watching. Don't want to sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. I think of you and all the shit you don't do. Well, I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you. I have no regrets, yeah, I'll tied up my chest. I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt. Been stabbed in the back, bed. I'll show you what happens. Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action. I feel this pain, you already know. Turn that to games, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to games, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own So fight and fight and die For the things you know you
in the garage finally. And honestly, for body rust, besides the floor pans, there's not a whole lot on the car. There's a little spot above the back fender. There's a little dent over here from something. And the floor pans. And unfortunately, I found the driver's side shock tower is rusted through. So, looks like I'm pulling the engine. <laughs> so I can fix that. And if I'm pulling the engine, I'm just going to go ahead and rebuild it. She's got 225,000 miles on her. But the 302 is still strong. She needs all new interior, a new top, all that. She is a restoration, not a resurrection. But we'll be doing a video. The next video on it will be us getting the hood off and seeing if we can at least get her to run. Start up and run for the first time in two decades. Solid car, fellas. Pretty solid car. That's going to be it for this video. Because that's all I got in me was getting this done. <laughs> and got her pushed in with a flat, no less. And thankfully, all four tires were free, surprisingly. And uh, she rolled free. Even the front with the flat rolled. So, all right, fellas and ladies. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs> and kids. Bye. Bye.